Toggle is out in the open and I intend to grab him before he can get off world. I advise against it. You might get lost in the storm. Then we'd have to find both you and Poggle. I feel it is a risk worth taking. As you wish. In Legacy of Terror, the sandstorm is an element of the story that was never in the original script. You know, we had all these big landscapes, and that's interesting to a point, but when I began editing the episode with Stuart Lee, there just wasn't a lot going on, and I said, you know, when they go off these bikes here, I'd love to see this approaching sandstorm. You know, everyone's, oh my gosh, a sandstorm. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Where is he taking us? You make one small decision like that, you have several problems. One, there's no mention of it in the script, so we had to rewrite it. I'm tracking a sandstorm. The storm is making things difficult. The storm. 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 We'll leave as soon as the storm lifts. You had to get Luminar goggles. I think she has like Hondo Onaka's goggles. What I wanted to see slash hear was this incredibly intense sandstorm outside. <laughs> and you'd walk inside, and all of a sudden, the density of the sound is different. I thought, well, that's gonna add a lot of tension. We'll never get to her in this storm. The gunships can't handle it. We can't wait. It really became a big character in the show. It really makes Act One work. <laughs> Suddenly, you understand why they just can't go out there where Luminar is. Sometimes Star Wars has that kind of logic, sometimes it ignores it. But I like to try to address it as much as possible. And it, <laughs> it looks great. I mean, the sandstorm is one of my favorite parts of that whole episode, and it sets you up for what happened to Luminara? Get yourself out of there. Must run do it! Must run do it! <laughs>